how do you do? Tom Davis here, long-time lover of mischief and adventure. In the winter of 2018, I thought I'd attempt something that, as far as I know, had never been done before. Walk across an entire country in a straight line. Am I mad? To pull this off, I'd need to find a country in which it was physically possible to walk across in a straight line. One that wasn't too wide, and one with the right balance of remoteness and human activity. That country was right on my doorstep. Wales. Starting at the English border, just south of Oswestry, I would make my way west, before eventually winding up here, at the Maldach Estuary, the Penmine Pool. Along the way, there'd be barbed wire fences, hedgerows, farmers, rivers, mountains, forests, gorges, lakes, marshes, people's back gardens, and much more. The weather was going to be shit, and over the course of the next few days, I'm going through. I was going to go slightly mad. Oops, sorry. You're watching the straight line mission across Wales. A quick briefing on the route. Later on, I would have to cross these mountains and this giant lake. But for now, it was a very fieldy affair, which wasn't much better. Day one would start off with a river crossing, a fairly big wood, and then a whole lot of fields and farmyards. If I could make it past this particularly crowded section here, by late afternoon, I would be well on my way. And if I could get past the little village of Rossi Br Brith, that one, I'd be in touching distance of these woods, perfect places to camp, especially if I needed to make a fire to dry off. My clothes, by the way, at the risk of looking like a wannabe soldier wanker, would be British army gear, head to toe. Who do I think I am, eh? Camouflaged in bushes, <laughs> and as a last resort, a foolproof disguise. Dan Hopkins, SAS. In all seriousness though, I was kind of dreading getting stuck at a hedgerow with an angry farmer approaching from behind, and dogs, farmyards with big bastard Alsatians in them. And on that note, I should probably apologise in advance for my swearing. Fuck me. Apparently I swear a lot in these kinds of situations. So kids, if you're watching, in fact, don't watch this. It's naughty. So we just leave the key or what? Don't see other option really. Oh God, okay. Here we go. How do I get out of here? I think I'll just hop over here. Gotta get used to this sort of shit. Whoops. <laughs> okay, over there is where I start. Just over there, that is the border of England and Wales. But there is a farm just next to it. So I'm terrified, to be honest. I'm terrified of being caught right off the bat. I just think that'd be so demoralizing. <laughs> and look at these hedgerows as well, fuck me. I desperately don't want to be seen by this farm. Okay, let's do it. So let's make this quick. I'm on the border of Wales, that is the border of England and Wales right there. This is where I start my journey. Um, to be honest, I've just got to, do, I've got to get on with this quick. So let's do it. Here we go. Fuck me, this is impossible. Okay. I think I can get through there. Oh, 
okay we're still on track over the next one bag off again I think oh. watch out for the barbed wire and we're down okay we've got some more houses over here No one's chasing me yet. It's a good start. Here's our river. The dreaded river in question was the River Tanat. Fast and shallow when not in flood, but after five days of solid rain, I was a bit worried that it would just be fast and deep. Now I was supposed to cross this river three times, here, here and here. However, if the river really was as bad as the lovely landlady at the Penny Bont Inn told me it was, I could cut my losses and sacrifice a few metres. By skirting around the edge of this meander, I could effectively cut out two whole crossings, but I would still have to cross the river later. <laughs> so at this point I was very eager to get up close and see the damage. Fucking hell. I've got to cross that. That's mental. Okay. Shit, I've got to get down here. Bollocks, man. Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay, let's make this a swift one. Ugh. We have gone slightly off, but I can't go in that river. Uh, but I will have to cross it. I will have to cross that very soon. So that could be the end of me. Jump this. Oh. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. Look at that. My foot just slipped down the clay bank there. And I've gone straight in. Okay, I've got to get through this. I've got to hug as close to the river as I can. Oh Jesus, this is never ending. I'm only 30 minutes in. Okay. Do the stinging nettles sting at this size? Yes, they do. Ow. My bag's getting caught on everything. Oh, <laughs> and it's weighing down on my head. Right, I've got to take my bag off. I'm getting nowhere. Oh. Okay, I've gone in a straight line here to the edge of the river. Just got to run across this field now to the point where I cross. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I really don't. If a farmer comes now, I'm pretty fucked because I've got to cross the river, which is just ahead. To do that, I've got to strip off, put all my stuff in a waterproof bag, somehow get the bag across the river. I don't even know if I can throw it that far. There's a farmer right here. I'm hoping A, he doesn't own this land, and B, he just sees me, thinks I'm army, leaves me alone. But he's coming up to the entrance to the field. Is he going to go past? He is. That's a pretty old tractor. I think I could run away from that anyway. Oh God, I'm nervous about this. Good God, I'm nervous. I don't know if I can do it. Moment of truth, everyone. What does this river look like here? My God, it's fucking huge. That is huge, mate. I was worried about getting into this river, but I was also worried about farmers potentially spotting me from the road. So I acted quick, stripping off, packing all my stuff into the bag with a view to at least semi attempt to cross the river. I knew I couldn't cross it by simply holding onto the bag and kicking. I'd have been swept downstream like a plastic bottle. So instead I tied my rope to the bag. Thank you scouts. The plan being to throw the bag as far as I could upstream. Okay and make a mad dash for it before it flowed past me and dragged me down the river. 
Already my willy had shrunk to the size of an acorn, but it was about to get a whole lot smaller. Can't believe I'm doing this. Look at it. Oh God. Okay, that floats, that's good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I inched myself forward into the freezing torrent to gauge its depth, but as I'd suspected, it got very deep very quickly. The force of the water was just frightening. Oh God. Nah, man. Nah. Do I swim it? Do I swim it? I was completely torn. On the one hand, fuck it, just go for it, you'll be fine. On the other, you might die. So I let my pack flow downstream to gauge the force of the water and it took a fair bit of strength to pull it back. And that was on the shallower edge of the river. Oh man, Thomas Davis, what have you done? Shit, fucking shit. I was now faced with the prospect of having to follow the river upstream, straying who knows how far from the line before I could cross it. I sized up the river one last time. Is it that dangerous? Maybe I could take a running jump whilst clutching my pack and just kick my way to the other side? Or would I just be swept downstream and ensnared in a clutch of submerged branches? No, oh, I can't. I can't do it. I can do it, man. What can I say? I'm devastated. I've uh, failed to cross this river. It's just too fast flowing, okay? The pull was so strong. Certainly, if I could have got my pack across, I think I could have made a swim for it. But with my pack, it was so heavy. I didn't know how I would do it because I could get halfway across and the pack would be you know pulling me downstream so maybe I could have done it but to be honest I'm not the strongest swimmer in the world what's this oh my god what is that look at this no it's all collapsed no fucking way I can't cross that. Surely I can't cross this. Shit me, son. I can do that. Oh. Is this a good idea? I don't know that it is. <laughs> um, this is fucking hell this is suicide this is the most rotten thing oh god the wind's picking up hold it together buddy suddenly I was very aware that I was precariously perched clothed bagged and booted above a two meter deep raging torrent if I fall in now I'm fucked Okay, the wire is good, but the wood's running out. <laughs> the wood is desperately running out. And I don't like the look of this wire, this small wire. Oh shit. Fucking hell, mate. Oh, the wind. I'm caught on a branch. Okay. Okay, I hope this wire takes me. This thin wire. Oh! Woohoo! Almost there. Oh, shit. 
Okay. I'm on. I'm home and dry. I hope that filmed. Oh, good. <laughs> Fucking hell, what am I doing? I'm trying to make up for the fact I didn't cross the river, so I do that. But I'm across! Yes! <laughs> okay. Oh, there's someone watching me over there. Okay. I've actually gone off course by about 100 meters there. Really not ideal, and I hope not to do that again in the whole trip. As I wade through this puddle. Yeah, hopefully that is by far and wide no pun intended, the uh, the biggest gap I, uh, I have to deviate from. Um, but it had to be done. I, I made a decision, and uh, for all I know, that decision may have saved my life. So let's crack on and uh, hope there's lots more adventure to come. Where's that bloke then? He can't have gone too far. Shit, there he is. Shit, he's coming. Whoa. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good, cheers. I'm on a um, bit of an expedition across Wales. Right, okay. Uh, that's not filming, by the way. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm uh, attempting to be the first recorded person to go in a completely straight line right, okay. across the country. Right, okay. Um, so, it's been interesting. I've just had to cross that river. Yeah. <laughs> which that's, was... Yeah, not easy. I no, suppose. no, no. Hello. Uh, what, do you own land around here? Well, the, 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 um, all the land's owned by an estate, and uh, so we, we look after the land. Oh, right. Um, you're probably not on the footpath, but there you go. Do you mind me... Uh, uh, keep, keep going, I think uh, oh. I think by the time you get to the top of the hill, you're off. So oh, thank you. Keep going. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, the, 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 there's a tenant farmer here, but I, I haven't... Uh, I haven't come across him yet this morning, oh, so okay. I'll just keep going if I you. Oh, thanks, mate. Um, if you head up behind those trees, you're, you're away then. After okay. That, so. Oh, thanks for being a, uh, appreciative. Uh, Obviously, it's a bit... Wherever you come from? Oswestry. Right. Just okay. on the border, yeah. 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 It's been, uh, well, obviously I've, I've got a long way to go, but... Um, so where are you trying to get to? Uh, Dog Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. You've got a bit of a... Good bit of a jaunt. Probably four days it's going to take me. I've, yeah. I've got to cross Lake Vernway. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. How are you going to cross that? Um, I've stashed an inflatable kayak. Right. <laughs> so um, I'm hoping the wind and the... You're hoping it's still there when you get there. That's, yeah, that's the main thing, <laughs> yeah. But, um, so Oswald Street to Dog Death Lie. Yeah. Yeah, in a straight line. 33 miles as the crow flies. Right. But, um, you know, I, I could walk that in a day easy yeah. if, if I was on a trail. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But um, it's, it's not as easy as that. <laughs> you haven't been crossed by any angry landowners yet. Not yet, no, no. no. You're the first still, guy I've seen and you're very time. pleasant. Still time. <laughs> still time, absolutely. <laughs> anyway, anyway I best be on. Up, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice Keep to getting, meet you. Very nice What's to your meet name? And I'm Tom. Nice to meet you. Tom, we'll see you in the uh, see in, yeah. in the Wrexham leader or the or the Daily Post or something. <laughs> yeah. Down your walk. Young man drowns in river. Yeah. <laughs> Lost kayak. Yeah, exactly. Right. Hey. Thanks a lot, mate. See you, mate. Definitely at least 50th in line to the throne. Cool. Just over these trees. Did you say old bean? Well, that's handy because that's exactly where I'm going anyway.
one mile in and had already faced a raging torrent and a charming landowner. Delighted to have overcome such obstacles, I was now refueled and heading into the peaceful sanctuary of the forest. A great sense of freedom and pure adventure came over me here and I knew I had to relish that because before long I'd be out of the woods and back into the fields. In the meantime though, I still had to assume that I wasn't alone in these woods. Still got to stay alert for hunters, landowners, things like that. It could be anywhere. Oh wow, this is really exposed. I imagine this wood to be really dense when I saw it on the map. But look at it. It's so open, it's unbelievable. Which is good, because I'm, uh, I'm a bit behind. Ah oh, yes, more of this. Okay, we're over it. We're over it. Release me, please. Thank you. Cool wood. This might be a bit worse though. Oh, all this wood is quite dead. I can literally just snap it off as I walk. I think we could have people potentially around here. There's a pheasant over there. I can hear noises. I've got to be really careful here. I guess I go through here. Happens to be directly on my route. Don't mind if I do. Wouldn't fancy climbing that really. I'm not sure how I would tackle that. So yeah, hopefully I don't see anyone. I'm bang on. Definite activity down here. I think I need to get out of here. Oh boy. Right, how do I do this without damaging it? Not like that. Oh. Good as new. Very shortly, I'd be granted a short break from the woods in the form of a brief spell of secluded fields. Nestled cosily in this pleasant clearing was a little farmhouse, the first of many I'd have to sneak past. Bit exposed here, I have to say. All it takes is for one bloke with a bad attitude. <laughs> and I'm off. I could be escorted off. And uh, the moment I'm hurting, I'm hurting. I don't feel like I could run up a hill at the moment. But fingers crossed, I haven't seen any farmers yet. The coast was clear on the farm track, but then I noticed another little farm on the left. But I figured I could just leg it across this field into the safety of these rather strange looking woods. Oh, class. This feels like someone's land, like a stately home or something. Sadly, this wooded section was coming to an end. So were the feelings of safety and freedom that came with it. It was now time to dive quite literally head first into the daunting sequence of fields that lay ahead. Okay, I'm out of the woods. Suddenly got a wave of dread <laughs> over all the fields that I've got across now. It's just fields for miles now, and um, I'm a bit worried that farmers might be a problem. Oh, please move. 
I don't want your mom to headbutt me. Oh, fuck, handful of sheep shit. Serves me right, I suppose. Okay, no farmers yet. Look at that, straight in the gap. Got to get through this bog first. Ooh, shit. What is he stopping for? Oh boy. Whoa, that's not a good method. Oh, in the gap again. <sighs> Got to keep a close eye on that farmhouse. With houses to the left of me and farms to the right, I was keen to move over these hedgerows quick. But the very first hedge was a real girthy one. Fuck. With my Garmin in my gob, I figured my best bet was to try and haul myself up and on top of the hedge using the least sharp branches I could find. Eventually I managed to do that. Amazingly, all these little thin sharp branches took my weight. And then they decided to stop. That's one way of doing it. This pretty huge farm on the right was drawing nearer. And then I noticed something about this house. Oh, shit. There were two cars in the drive, one of which I was fairly sure was the golf from the road. Convinced that the golf man was now after me and that I was on his land, a freshly dumped children's bicycle only bolstering my theory, I sped towards this valley, hoping the embankment wasn't as steep as it looked. Ow. In this valley was the large farm we'd seen earlier, but first a fairly tricky stream. But sometimes in the wild, you have to make use of what's around you and improvise. <laughs> this is absolutely non-stop. On the opposite side of the valley, a farm track. As I scaled the fence, I peered down towards the farm to see this. Shit. A farmer in a 4x4 four four making his way up the track. Whether he saw me or not, I have no idea. But I wasn't going to hang around to find out. I still feel quite exposed. Look, all it takes is one job's worth. Okay, we'll be into a wood over there, so that'll be good. I've got a few cuts, to be honest. One, two, six. There's quite a few. That's not good, actually, because I've got no antiseptic. Oh well. I may have had sheep shit entering the bloodstream, but at least I was back in the sanctuary of the woods with a chance to rest and reflect. Okay, just a quick recap of that last bunch of about eight fields or so. Got the heart racing. Because that VW that stopped on the road to have a look at me, that must have been what he was doing because he didn't stop to let another car pass. He then... I saw him in that house, he, he lived in that house, that's probably why he was so curious as to what the fuck I was doing, so close to his land, might have been his land. And then, I saw that bicycle, I thought, this is land that they use a lot, this is their bloody land. Because you just don't know what these people are going to be like, it might be an absolute arse. And rightly so, to be honest, but I got away with it. There was, on both sides, I had a war on two fronts. Okay, let's carry on, there's more fields to come. <laughs> Thank you. 
coast is clear, but I'm stuck. The farm in the next field had been long since abandoned, so I could afford to take my time with this hedgerow, working its frail gear stick like knobs and hoisting myself up again, just like before. Only this time I had a solid post to push off off of. Oh, oh. oh shit. I've sacked it there. I've absolutely sacked it there. I'm still in view, so I better hurry up. I'd have quite liked to have explored this abandoned farmstead, but annoyingly it was 20 yards from my line, so I just couldn't. Maybe I'd get the chance to sleep in something like that on another night, I pondered. But moments later, I found myself counting sheep in a much more literal sense. Shit, what's going on here? These sheep appeared to be being herded. I had to get out of this field. I had this bush to contend with first though, complete with rusty barbed wire. Okay, they're moving of their own accord, I think. I hope. Man. It seemed to be okay, but I still had to keep my eyes peeled just in case I was wrong. Well, I think we're good. I don't think we're too bad here. Look at this for a hedgerow. Actually, it looks like there's branches to climb up, potentially. Oh, fuck. I can hear a quad bike. I'm getting over here quick. Shit, that's close. Okay, I'm not in anyone's land. So I'm gonna have a break here, I think. So far, so good. There he is, look. That's incredible timing. I'm heading straight through this farm. Fucking hell. Come on, don't drown now. <laughs> <laughs> 